What's up guys, Wintech94 here with a tutorial on how to uh, set up bitcoins. Uh, if you don't know what bitcoins are, they're basically um, they're a digital currency um, used across the internet at the moment. Uh, possibly the best digital currency out there uh, for a number of reasons, uh, which I won't go into right now. If you guys are new to the project and you wanted to um, yeah, look into this more, uh, go onto this website here, uh, bitcoin.org. Um, uh, open up the uh, learn how to use bitcoins um, it'll take you to your website called we use coins which has got a youtube video embedded in the site a uh, really good two minute video on how it works uh, and that sort of stuff Yeah. alright so uh, basically what you're going to want to do now is get yourself a uh, bitcoin client or digital wallet um, and basically uh, what this does is um, the same way people humans keep their money in their wallet you're going to keep your bitcoins in your digital wallet so if you want to install the file to your system then get the exe that being said if you want to just get a um, standalone exe um, that you don't have to install and you just put it on your desktop or whack it into your my documents whatever get the zip file so i'm just going to go download the zip file now it'll uh, redirect you to sourceforge Alright, so you're going to hit download file and then you are going to wait for it to load. Now I have to wait for it to load again because my internet blocked it in the first place. You're going to save it to uh, your desktop or wherever the hell you want to save it to. Um, I'm not going to save it now because I've just downloaded the file before. This is the second time shooting this video. Um, Alright, so once it's downloaded, it should take about two minutes, if that. Um, Alright, so you're going to get this file, uh, Bitcoin, and then obviously version number win32.zip. Um, open it up, uh, then you're going to drag it onto the desktop. Yes, uh, this obviously won't happen for you guys, I'm just... Like I said, second time shooting this video, so I'm doing all this again. There you go. Alright, so um, once you got this, basically you are going to uh, open this up, double click on that file, and you will uh, have this interface come up. There we go. Um, Basically, this is the digital wallet, which I mentioned at the start of the video, um, so it's pretty easy to use. The original digital wallet was really, really dodgy, like, it was a bit hard, it was a lot harder, sorry, a bit is more of an understatement, but it was a lot hard to navigate than this one. This one is a uh, much more simplistic uh, design, and yeah. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to run you guys through on what you're going to want to do to get all this set up now. Um, so what's going to happen now is the first time you open it, it's going to sync with the Bitcoin network. So you won't be able to use it for literally about two or three hours. So um, you want to set this up at the time when uh, your PC, you're f happy with your PC running straight for three hours. And again, it's not necessarily to do with the download speeds. It, like if you've got a really good internet connection, um, that won't actually speed it up. Um, because yeah it's downloading blocks which is basically uh, if you don't know what the block is yet um, go check out that video which I told you to go look at in the uh, beginning of the video and um, that'll basically go through what the block is so yeah you can download all these Bitcoin blocks and uh, yeah that's gonna take about they're relatively small files so it won't it suck up that much of your internet so don't worry about uh, that problem as far as bandwidth goes but yeah um, so once you're synced with the network then you can start um, getting transactions and sending and receiving bitcoins so as you can see at the moment my balance is 0 0.0095 bitcoins um, which is really really shockingly bad um, because I'm mining my own bitcoins and I've got a really bad graphics card um, but ignore that for now I'll teach you guys uh, later on in a different video on how to mine your own bitcoins so um, if you want to get your first um, 0 
five i think it's zero zero five bitcoin uh, i'll teach you guys how to do that now again it doesn't sound like much but hell at the end of the day it's free bitcoins um and you don't really have to do anything for it so go across to receive coins um and then uh it's best to create a um different address for like uh, different things so basically what you do is every time you want to receive bitcoin to someone you'll give them uh, an address and then um, then they'll send they'll go onto their digital wallet and then uh, pay to they'll pretty much copy your address um, and then they'll paste it and then they'll send you a certain amount of money um, then that'll come up on transactions and say um, receive from and then a label and then the address so basically um, it's best to uh, create a different address for all your different services you got running so like um, I'm gonna start putting up my YouTube Bitcoin address on um, well, my YouTube channel so anyone who likes my videos can uh, donate to me if they want to um, or then uh, so then I can just keep it um, organized I can be like okay look I just got um, I just got a donation from YouTube or I just got a donation from such and such or yeah so um, you can use your generic one but for now we're just going to use Bitcoin for set so if you guys won't have this so you're going to go new address uh, type in Bitcoin for set and then hit OK um, yeah now Bit for set is basically a um, Bitcoin donation service There you go. There. So, um, website looks like this. The URL, if you guys want that, I'll put it in the description. I'll put all the dis uh, URLs in the description, by the way. Um, so, yeah, https uh, dot dot slash slash freebitcoins.appspot.com. Um, so, this guy has 20.110 uh, bitcoins available. This guy used to give out like 0 0.01 of a bitcoin, but then the currency exchange rate went up and um yeah and he he doesn't actually i don't think he generates his own either he gets it all this off donation so he's a really nice guy the um the guy or group who runs it um you're gonna need a google account as well um so pretty much um because he basically uh used to donate to people uh based off ip address but then people figured out how to get around that by using vpns and stuff and proxies so then they were getting they were kept on coming back for more and more um bitcoins so yeah you're gonna need a google account so if you've obviously got a youtube channel and you've um and you're on youtube then just use that um if you signed up with a google account obviously um yeah so once you've done that you're gonna hit get some now Um, then you're just going to sign in with your password. Um, you can use your Hotmail as long as it's actually, like I said, signed on with Google. Mine is through my YouTube. But yeah, um, then you're going to hit sign in and then it'll get you to do like a um, capture, which basically um, you should all know what captures are by now, but this one's different. It's like a picture one where you have to, it's like a puzzle where you have to slide um, the pictures in place. And then you just put in your Bitcoin address. Um, and then you just hit send and uh, then within an hour or two or when the next load transaction goes out because it does it periodically um, you're pretty much just going to want to uh, wait and then it'll eventually come through on the transactions and it'll come up with 0 .005 bitcoins um, and then the time yeah and it'll come up on your overall balance alright so uh, this was video one um, in my series on how to set up bitcoins uh, the next video I'll be teaching you guys how to download um, GUI miner and uh, start mining your own bitcoins off your own graphics card um, yeah so please rate comment and subscribe if you like the video and uh, give me lots of feedback because feedback is good I can't make any better videos without feedback um, so yeah catch you guys later